Welcome to Veterans Air, the Veterans Hour. Veterans Air is your source for news, talk, and uncensored commentary here on the Lone Star Community Radio. I'm your host, Douglas B., along with my co-host, Dangerous Dan, the Muffin Man. <laughs> You're listening to us live the first th- Tuesday of every month here on VeteransAir.us. And coming soon, I promise you, Conroe's own FM 106.1 and FM 104.5. This month, we're going to be spotlighting Darlene Gregory of ENW Financial. Darlene is going to tell us everything that it takes and where to find resources for vets wanting to start their own business or needing working capital to expand their businesses, buy equipment, or commercial real estate. Our commentary this month is going to be about cop killers, Black Lives Matter, and that thin blue line. As always, when we start the show, we're going to do a little housekeeping. And so you know where to contact Veterans Air. You can contact Veterans Air through our website at www.veteransair.us or leave a message. Or even better yet, you can text us live in our studio by texting to our dedicated Google phone, 936-344-3083. Dan, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Doug. Dan, I see you brought us muffins. I did. What muffins do we have today? Lemon poppy seed muffins. Lemon poppy seed muffins. Poppy seeds. Are we going back to July's show there? Am I going to get like blood tested, uh, urine tested for this, eating these poppies? Are you worried? Uh, always. Always worried about okay. that. Okay, then maybe you should not partake. I'm going to partake. More for me. I'm going to partake because they, they got like muffin tops on them, and you know, that's the best part of the muffin. It is. It hey, is. before we start, I got to like, give a shout out and let you know that, uh, that have you ever been up to uh, Poppy's Seafood Grill in Willis? I have. Is that not awesome food? It is pretty good, yeah. I got to give a shout out to this guy, Larry. He is the nicest guy in the world. He's the uh, the chef there, and he owns Poppy's Seed Food Grill out in Willis. My wife ran into him at the uh, at the oil change place up on uh, 336, mm-hmm. and they got to talking and whatnot, and she seemed like a really nice guy. And by the end of the conversation, she goes in to uh, pay her bill for the oil change, and Larry paid it. Free oil change. He invited her out to the restaurant. So, uh, you know, Larry, thanks a lot. We went to the restaurant. I want to give a review. Um, My wife had uh, some sort of fish dish, and it was good. Um, But me being me, of course, you know, I had the uh, mushroom Swiss burger, and it's huge, guys. I got to tell you, (laughs) this burger is huge. Even I could not finish the burger. I had to take half of it home. That's saying something, Doug. I know that's saying something. Go out and visit the guy at Poppy Seafood Grill out in Willis on the main road there as soon as you get off the – the uh, I-45, it's on uh, 400 West Montgomery Street. Dan. What's up? You ever think about starting your own business? Because I know you have. You told me about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I just got done watching the show on Netflix about uh, cooking and selling meth, and I thought I could do that. But then I, I thought that was just too much work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DEA is going to be banging down the door at the <laughs> studio to pick him up. I think we have a warrant for a dangerous Dan, the muffin man. No, seriously, though, um, this is going to be a two-part segment if I do it right. Um, and I'm going to label this segment the uh, get off your butt and do something and go to work segment. Um, and today, um, via, via telephone, we have with us the CEO of EMW Financial, Darlene Gregory. Dar, are you out there? I'm here. Everybody out there, I want you to sit back. Get a pen and a piece of paper because you want to take some notes for this. This is serious. Darlene's been doing this now for decades, and she's a whiz at this. She actually uh, helped me start up mine. So sit back, take some notes, and uh, we'll get into this. Let me give you a little background uh, on Darlene. Uh, Darlene's family has a long history of military service, and she herself, uh, her and her companies rather, they're major contributors to the American Legion, of course, they sponsored this show, Veterans Air. Darlene is the uh, Darlene Gregory is the president of East Meets West Productions and EMW Management for the past 25 years. East Meets West is a full-service, award-winning international advertising, marketing, and public creation agency with two offices here in Texas, Houston and in Corpus Christi. EMW Financial Management serves the business community with business plans, obtaining financing, and buying and selling of businesses. She has been honored by the Small Business Administration, District 4, as the Minority Business Champion of the Year and has been inducted into the National Association of Professional Women's VIP Woman of the Year Circle. And this is probably why I can never get her on the phone. 
She is also a frequent lecturer over at uh, Del Mar College Small Business Development Center and serves on the SBA Small Business of the Year nominating committee. Darlene has been the keynote speaker at uh, Meeting Planners International, the Choice Hotels Owners Group, and chairs a number of city and nonprofit board of directors. She holds a master's degree in both marketing and business administration. And as a former Navy wife, her passion is helping veterans and business owners achieve their goals and their dreams. Darlene, welcome to the show. I want to thank you for being here and for everything that you do for the veterans. I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to ask you a question. Since you're the one in the know for how to do business, how to start small businesses and fund small businesses, so what should a vet do to prepare? Does he just wake up in the morning and go, I think I'm going to start a business, go out and rent an office? What does he need to do? First of all, a vet needs to be very well funded. There isn't a business in the world that is profitable from day one. I tell, when I lecture at the Small Business Development Center, I tell new business owners or startup business owners, be prepared to work 14 hours a day, seven days a week for 67 cents an hour, not unlike your first year in the military. <laughs> if you need the money from your business venture in year one to provide for your family, you don't have enough capital to start a business. Yes, you still have superior officers. They're known as customers to whom you must cater and satisfy. Not to mention your spouse who will soon be tired of talking about or working on your business 24-7. You need a business plan. Consider it a roadmap to your business's success. So uh, I have to ask you a question. So I've decided to start a business. Um, your answer makes me think that or implies that my wife isn't going to be working for free. Do I actually have and to pay her? neither are you. I get paid? When you do a business plan, you, you include what you must pay yourself. You pay yourself first when you start a business. Okay, so let's say for the sake of argument that I have this, this great idea, um, and it came up in our last show, I don't know if you were listening, um, barenakedbacon.us. We're going to make um, ISIS charms by making wearable bacon jewelry. So I think it's a great idea, and I figured out how I'm going to, to actually create these jewelry things. I think it's a great idea. I think this is a win situation that I'm going to make a million bucks my first year, but I don't have any money to start. How does a veteran like me raise cash to start a business? There are many avenues and many traditional and non-traditional lenders like banks, real estate investment trusts known as REITs, hedge funds, and angel investors that will fund a startup. Other avenues are borrowing against your insurance policy or your IRA, but I caution you here because if you borrow against your, your IRA, you have to pay it back in a, in a prescribed amount of time or it becomes a taxable event for you. Family members or friends as investors, GoFundMe sites, and more. Try not to use your credit cards to fund a business. It'll only make it difficult to preserve your good personal credit rating and cause you big time stress if you need to make large payments before you're profitable. I always recommend that you have a year's worth of savings in the bank to pay all of your regular household and personal bills before you start a business. Because if you don't have that kind of money and you, you need your business to be profitable instantly, it's not going to happen and you're just going to get yourself in debt. So saving to start your business is a critical success factor. Well, since you, since you bring that up and you bring up personal credit cards, that, that makes me think. Everybody's a corporation or an LLC or, or this, that, and the other thing. Um, do I need to become a business or can I just be me? You can be you and file a DBA. Um, so What's that a DBA? You say it's Douglas Burrell, DBA, ISIS Bacon Jewelry. A crazy idea, by the way, but I support you. <laughs> um, you you are going to be like the first person, or the, may, may, may within the first three people that are going to get the bare naked bacon charm. I'm so excited. I, I can hear that in your voice, <laughs> Dan. I don't think she's so, she's into our idea. No, no, she needs uh, she needs us to sell it a little bit more. We should keep trying. Okay, we'll yeah. get a business plan. <laughs> Okay, so let's assume that you're going to start your business and you have a, a year's worth of money in the bank to support your family and yourself while you're starting this business. You need to, to have a business plan that includes financial projections 
on the costs of promoting your business and manufacturing your ISIS bacon charm and what you can project in revenue. Okay, so that sounds all like the, this big business plan thing. And, and I, want, I want to put that on hold. We're going to set that to the side for a business plan because that might be a whole thing unto itself. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go back to the point that I have no money, but I'm a vet. And they're, 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 I know that people love us veterans, well, Doug, and they just want to give us money. You could always just sell meth. <laughs> <laughs> the DEA is coming. This is why we have Dangerous Dan. They're going to confiscate our muffins. I hear there's a lot of money in it. I don't know. <laughs> no, but seriously, are there any programs out there available for guys like me that want to start up their own business here? Yes. The SBA has loans up to $25,000 for veterans that require no documentation. No and way. By that, I... Wait, wait, wait. By that, I mean tax returns and personal financial statements, usually. Then you can walk in, and, and they're going to give me twenty five grand. If your personal credit's good. Ah, see, I knew there was always a catch. There's kicker. always a catch. Okay, so I say that you need to have a credit rating of at least 700, a 700 score. If you don't know how to check your score and you don't want to pay for it, once a year you can go to annualcreditreport.com and you will get your score, your personal credit score, from the three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and what the heck is the other one, Equifax. Wait a second, what You'll was that get, website again? Okay, annualcreditreport.com. Once a year, they'll give you a free credit report with credit scores, so you don't have to pay for them. Look at that, I took my you, first note. <laughs> okay, it's more accurate than Credit Karma. Credit Karma is also free, but there's some inaccuracies in it. I find that the Credit Karma sco scores are always lower than your actual score. If you have a Discover card or an American Express card, both of those sites will, there's a, a, a button you can click on for FICO score, and that will tell you what your personal credit score is as well for free. Let's get back to these SBA loans. These loans are a 10-year term with a low fixed interest rate and no prepayment penalty. So that means that say you get $10,000 to start your business. Well, the payment's going to be somewhere around 200 bucks a month, and it's going to be a low interest rate, usually between 5 and 7%, and you're going to have a fixed monthly payment. If you want to prepay it somewhere down the line, you're able to prepay it, you can without a penalty. We can help you through the process of applying. Banks and credit unions give preference to vets, and if the loan is under 50000 we can usually get it funded on the strength of the borrower's own personal credit. We just did one for $26,750. The payment, we did it with commercially with a bank, not through the SBA, and because the borrower's credit was so exceptional, the payment is $485 a month. It's a five-year note. And the interest rate on it is, I believe, 4.75%. Damn, that's skippy. Right. So in the past 15 years, we've successfully placed over $40 million in loans for businesses, from startup restaurants and medical dental practices to theme parks, commercial real estate, and more. We've assisted businesses of every type and scope. So... EMW Financial and, and businesses like EMW Financial, this is what you specialize in. You specialize in, in helping startups find the funding and get their paperwork and business plans together. Is that right? That's correct. And if they want to buy or sell a business, we can help them walk through the process of doing so. Just last year, two years ago, we had a, a dentist as a regular EMW advertising client who was getting older and wanted to retire. So we went out and found him an associate dentist to learn a little bit about the business. And then we found that we sold the business to that dentist and we obtained his financing for him. He purchased the business for around $600,000 and it's doing $2.4 million this year. Damn, $2.4 million in bacon jewelry, Dan. Uh, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's seriously what I'm talking about. That's a lot about. of bacon. That's a lot of bacon. <laughs> Um, we, we, Darlene, we, we've talked about business plans, and mm -hmm. can you tell us briefly, in a nutshell, what's a business plan and why do we need one? Okay. 
as I said before, a business plan is a roadmap to the success of your business. Every single lender is going to want to see your business plan. And so what you must have in a business plan is the executive summary, which is an overview of who your business is, what you project for income. If you're currently in business, what are your financials now? A competitive analysis, which is every single business in the world has a competitor. What are your competitors doing? A marketing plan. Financial projections for the first five years. First year has to be by month with both revenue and expenses. Financial assumptions. Startup costs. Sources and uses. Sources and uses is where are you going to get the money to start up your business? In other words, what skin in the game do you have? And the uses of that money. A list of the assets, cash on hand, a personal financial statement, three years personal and corporate tax returns if you're already in business, and financial statements. Your corporate documents. Are you an LLC? Are you a DBA? What are you? Resume of the principles of the business and supporting doc documents, which include case studies of similar businesses, real estate documents, leases, you know, anything that supports what you are trying to do. Now, you're going to put all this together for barenakedbacon.us, right? Sure. For you, anything, Doug. <laughs> Dan, do you hear sarcasm in that? Not at all, Doug. She really means it. I believe it. I'm serious. I'm serious about this bacon jewelry. I think it's going to be a good idea, but I'm definitely not sure how I would sell that to investors. Um, but well, that that's why you need a business plan and you need a presentation to be able to give to potential investors. So that they can see that investing in your company will give them a return somewhere down the line. Oh, so they actually want me to pay them back the money and get successful. Oh, oh well, I see. that's no fun. Yeah. All right. I see that we Nobody need to go. Nobody rides for free. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I see that we need to go on break here to do a little break. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be back in just a minute or two with Johnny and Gregory and more about how to start up your business. An exciting fishing adventure awaits you aboard the Wicked Winch. Join Corpus Christi's premier fishing guide, 40 year master captain, Alan Ryder, to reel in the big ones. Redfish, trouts, drum, flounder, sheep's head, and wade fishing. Full or half day trips are available. Includes rods, reels, tackle, baits, and refreshments. Seasoned pro or first time novice. Catch your limits with Padre Pirate Guide Service or go to PadrePirateFishing.com. You are listening to Veterans Air on IRLoneStar.com and Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1. Welcome back to Veterans Air. You're live in the studio with me, Douglas B., and my co-host, Dangerous Dan the Muffin Man. We're talking to Darlene Gregory of EMW Financial today, and she is telling us about how we're going to start up our barenakedbacon.us company and what we need to do. Darlene, you still with us? Mm-hmm. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Did you like, did, did you, did you like my, my exit and intro? Is that not awesome music? It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can just see you marching to the cadence, Doug, I, in I, the studio. I, 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 well, yeah, I was. I, I can't do with your cane. Hey, don't, don't mess with Gertrude. Yeah, She'll hurt, she'd hurt you. <laughs> So we're back, the listeners. Welcome back. Short break. Um, we're talking to Darlene, and we're talking about business plans and financing and whatnot to start up a business. And before the break, we started. Uh, she started taking us through what was needed in the business plan, and I clearly got the the impression that I do not, I cannot do this alone. That's not my forte to write this stuff. So, how are we going to write this business plan, Darlene? Are there is there something out there available to me? Of course there is. At EMW, we've written hundreds of business plans to present to our 180 lenders for clients. Our success rate is 95%. We're happy to help. We'll tell you up front if we feel we can prevail on your behalf. Most colleges have a small business development center that offers assistance and free or low-cost training courses on everything from accounting to promoting one's business online to the entrepreneur. There are dozens of books in your local library on writing a business plan. Use your library. So this isn't something that I want to jump into willy-nilly. Uh, no. Um, honestly, you guys need to sit down and talk about, okay, what have we got to invest in our own business? 
which is called skin in the game in the banking world or the investing world. What have we got to put toward it? And how do we convince a lender that this is a great idea? That's what your business plan is for. And ah, now, 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 now we get to the meat. So with, without this business plan, uh, I'm just walking in with my hat in the hand. Yep. And honestly, lenders don't take you seriously unless you have a business plan. What they're going to do if you don't have a business plan and you go in and ask them to do that is they're going to give you a personal loan based on your own credit. And you're going to have to be able to show them how you're going to pay it back. That's why you have to have a business plan. You have to be able to show the banks and the, and the other investors out there how you're going to return their investment in you. You know, you said something earlier um, that when you sit down with your clients that come to you looking for, for financial resources and to write a business plan, start a business, you tell them up front whether or not you think you can prevail. So yep. if I can, I'm coming to you with this idea for bare naked bacon, and you would mm -hmm. tell me honestly after you've learned all of my ideas about what I'm going to do with this, if you think that this is something that it could actually work as a business, or are you going to tell me this is... I can either get you money or I can't get you money. What are you, what are you telling me here? Are you telling me this, this is a good idea or, and a, or a bad idea? Or are you telling me, I think based on what I know, I can get you funding? Yes, I'm going to tell you up front. We can get you funding or we can't get you funding. As I said, our success rate's 95%. We've done everything from refinancing. In 2008, no bank in the world was financing entertainment complexes like theme parks. I had a client who wanted to buy out his partner. It was a $4.5 million loan request, a business that was functioning. But here's what I'm telling you. In 2008, there wasn't a bank in the world funding this type of a business. They weren't funding hotels. They weren't funding anything because of the recession. However, we were able to put, down a business, put together a business plan for this client got it commercially funded with no money down using an SBA guarantee. And we were able to prevail and allow him to buy out his partner and own the business lock, stock, and barrel by himself. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now it's getting interesting. So we've written this business plan. How do, you, how do we go about finding the, the people that are going to lend it, lend us the money? And how do we present this plan? It's just some numbers on a page to me okay first you're going to approach your local bank or credit union for funding use the resources we have here at, at emw or at the small business development center to identify local banks that are sba lenders sba has loan programs designed for vets such as basic 7a and any other type of entrepreneur you don't necessarily have to be a, a vet such as basic 7a loans 504 loans to acquire commercial real estate, community express loans, and there's a special program called Military Reserve Ex Economic Injury Loans, known as MREIDL. There are also loans by angel investors, online lenders, and more. Call us at EMW so we can discuss your particular situation. The applications can be daunting, and sometimes a combination of lenders or loan programs must be used to achieve the necessary funding. So, I'll tell you a little story. I have a client who is building a dry stack boat storage facility, wants to build one. So we have to use a combination of a 7A loan for working capital and construction and a, five, and a 504 loan, SBA loan, to obtain the land. It's a combination program. Sometimes you need a bank for a commercial loan or a credit union for a commercial loan plus an SBA guarantee, plus the money from angel investors in order to put your equity requirement together. So we're just not going with one uh, funding site. We may be using a multitude of, of different funders to get our project going. Absolutely. Well, I know from personal experience, I, I, I guys, I've actually had an SBA loan. This was back in like 2002, maybe 2001. I had a small SBA loan. Don't ask me what type it was. I don't remember. It was only $5,000. Um, and I paid it back in like two years. Um, 
and the reason that I went that way was when I went to my bank, I got a lot of objections. I just needed some working capital to, just to get through the little dry time. So I needed some working capital. And I got a lot of objections. And I did have a business plan at the time for, for my company. I thought it was pretty good. Um, the vets out there or the people listening to my show, darling, um, they may be sitting there and they may have the next greatest idea that's going to revolutionize the world. But they're not prepared for the objections for when they go find this lending, find, find lenders. Any advice for them? It's always better to have a representative to help you pitch your plan to the investor or the bank because your representative generally has a trusted relationship with the lender and knows how to overcome the lender's objections with solid, unemotional responses that speak to the lender's real concern, which is always risk. Our success rate is so high because we spend significant time with our lenders and our borrowers matching the right lender with the borrower. If your business doesn't fit the lender's footprint, they'll find many objections to your business plan, regardless of how great your plan and your projections are. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. So you're saying that that, that companies like EMW, um, you guys know, based on your interview with, with me of what I want to do, what lenders to shop for? You can do that? You yes. can shop for lenders? Yes. You have multiple choices. We have 180 lenders on our list. They're not all in Texas. Some of them are national, some of them are international, and they have special requirements and taste for what they want to fund. We know who they are. We know what they're interested in. So we're not going to waste our time going to every bank in town to try to get you funding if you're not the right match for that lender. So what do you mean? What, what, what's, so, what's a match? Okay, a match is a footprint. Unfortunately, most lenders won't share up front what fits their footprint. We've had such a long relationship with these lenders that we know what they'll look at funding and what they won't. A footprint is a type of business a bank feels comfortable funding. For instance, Many banks will touch, won't touch what they call a greasy loan or a greasy loan, which is an oil field related business. Still others and other investors want nothing to do with contractors, general contractors. Some only want big, well-established businesses and won't fund retailers or restaurateurs. The amount of equity or skin in the game lenders want also varies, regardless of whether it's an SBA loan or a conventional loan. A good representative can negotiate that requirement on your on your behalf. For instance, the boat storage facility with a marine with a marina that we just talked about is considered a special use SBA loan and carries a higher borrower ec, borrower equity requirement than a retail store or restaurant. Special use loans like the fourteen million dollar loan we recently closed for a client often require twenty to twenty five percent equity from the borrower borrower in land, equipment, cash on hand, or cash flow from other businesses or revenue streams, like your military retirement or your stock portfolio or your IRA. Let me ask you a question about SBA loans, because you are the SBA uh, awardee winner. Um, an SBA loan is different type of thing than going to your credit union or the bank. Do, do I have to have put up collateral for an SBA loan? Generally. Any loan, you're going to have to have some collateral. Generally, it'll be land or some other funding source that they can go back and get if you fail. Okay? But I want to clarify something about SBA loans. You have to have a commercial lender who will employ the SBA on your behalf to guarantee your loan. Here's what happens with an SBA loan. The bank is protected. SBA will guarantee 85% of the loan if you fail. So banks like SBA loans because they don't have to depend on just you to pay them back. If you fail, they don't have to go and have an auction and sell every lottie da thing you own. They can go to the SBA, and the SBA will pay them 85% of their loan. That's ah, why they like SBA loans. See, so see, you have to find an SBA lender. See, now, now, now you speak in terms that those vets understand because – that's, that's pretty much the same way with your VA home loan. Mm -hmm. is They're not actually giving you money there, but they're guaranteeing that loan. 
So should yeah. you go belly up and uh, uh, the mortgager, the creditor, is actually going to get his money back? So it's like loan insurance kind of? Kind of like loan yeah, insurance. Yeah, kind of like insurance for the bank. The bank says, yeah, we'll take this risk with this startup business or this small business that's only been in business a year or two. We'll take this risk because the SBA is going to guarantee we'll get our money back if he or she fails. Okay, I got about two minutes before I go into uh, have to go into station break here to do news and weather. But before I go, real quick, tell me about rates and terms. What's a good deal for a business? Terms vary wildly depending on the borrower's credit, business plan, collateral, and how hard your representative will fight for terms and interest rate. A half point reduction in interest rate can save you thousands over the life of the loan. Depending on your business's projected cash flow or seasonality, a fixed higher interest rate may be less favorable to you than a lower variable rate over five years that is based on the prime rate plus a point or two. So you financial management guys, you guys over there at EMW, you can shop these loan rates for us? You can negotiate? Absolutely. We negotiate hard for our clients. We want to get you the lowest interest rate for the shortest term. That's outstanding. Everybody, stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a break for traffic and weather. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about Darlene and then jump into our commentaries. We'll be right back with more news, talk, and commentary from Veterans Air. The Veterans Hour on IRLoneStar.com and Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1. Are you interested in learning more about preparing quick, healthy, and safe meals for your family? Would you like to spend time with others learning tips and tricks, along with practicing and tasting nutritious food? If so, the On the Road to Healthy Living Mobile Cooking School is for you. Call Amy Ressler at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service at 936-539-7825 to find a class near you or volunteer to host a class. An exciting fishing adventure awaits you aboard the Wicked Winch. Join Corpus Christi's premier fishing guide, 40-year master captain, Alan Ryder, to reel in the big ones. Redfish, trouts, drum, flounder, sheep's head, and wade fishing. Full or half-day trips are available. Includes rods, reels, tackle, baits, and refreshments. Season pro or first-time novice. Catch your limits with Padre Pirate Guide Service or go to PadrePirateFishing.com. You're back with Douglas B. on Veterans Air, the Veterans Hour. Reminding you that Claymore mines are stamped with front towards enemy for a reason. Welcome back to Veterans Air. I'm your host, Douglas B., along with my host, co-host, Dangerous Dan, the Muffin Man. We're talking today with Darlene Gregory from EMW Financials, who's taken us through really briefly everything that we need to consider before we start our uh, bare naked bacon ISIS protection charm jewelries. Darlene, you still with us? I am. I, I want to personally thank you for uh, for taking us through this real briefly. And uh, we can get hold of you when we have more questions. How are we getting hold of you? You can give us a call at 361-904-0044 or you can visit us online at www.emwfinance.com. There's lots of information on the website that can help you decide what you want to do. And here's the best part. For all of our vets who are either in business and need working capital or need to buy equipment or need to buy a new location or vets that are doing a startup, your initial consultation is free. Yeah, outstanding. We like free. Dan's going, yeah. I do enjoy free stuff. We like free stuff. Well, thank you for having me. I'm happy to help. Any vet or entrepreneur out there that needs some help with putting a business plan together, finding financing, or just consultation on how do we make ourselves profitable. All right, listen up, guys. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Listen up, guys and girls out there. Uh, you can get hold of Darlene at EMW Financial at uh, 361-904-0044. And if you go to our website, veteransair.us, and click on Sponsors, you'll see she has a banner there, and you can contact her right there also. This is a smart lady, and she's out there to help us vets. Thank you, Darlene, for your time. I appreciate it. hope to have you back on the show again real soon. 
Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right. It's time for commentary. Now, part of our, our, our tagline is news talk and uncensored commentary for veterans, military families, and those that love us. And when I say uncensored commentary, I mean, this is where I get to rant and rave. And since it's the radio, nobody can stop me, except for the DEA that's going to come confiscate our, our poppy seeds. Yeah, I really want to eat one of those, but I can't eat on the air. My, uh, my favorite part right here, uncensored. Uncensored commentary. Uncensored. All right, here's, I'm going to go on my rant. Have you been watching the news? Have you been watching TV, Dan? I don't have TV. That's good, because you know what? It's depressing out there. Yeah, that's why I don't have TV. It's garbage. You know, as you know, veterans there, we are non-political, even though you're sitting there with a Gary Johnson 2016 for president t-shirt. Go Gary, go Hillary, go Donald. Um, but just because we're non-political and we don't have a political uh, agenda here, that doesn't mean that we're, we're non-socially aware. We're anti-social, <laughs> but we're non-socially aware. Um, but there's things that are going on in the society today, Dan, and they're just downright wrong. They're wrong. And some of our political figures, in my opinion, they're fanning, fanning the flames of all these things that are going well, wrong. Yeah, how else are they supposed to get reelected? Yeah. Well, let's talk for the next couple of minutes. Just sit back and listen. and Try not to have that little vein in your head pop. Because <laughs> we're going to talk about cop killers, black life matters, and the thin blue line. Cop killers. Now, there's a special kind of stupid right there. If you are stupid and crazy enough to kill a cop, you present a serious threat to our society. Set aside the argument of good cop and bad cop and just think about what a cop is and what that badge represents. These are men and women that we, as a society, have entrusted to uphold our laws. Just the law. They don't defend our rights. They don't defend our liberties. They uphold the law. When you kill a cop, you're killing the law and what law represents. And that makes you a threat to everybody, not just cops. I don't care about good cops or bad cops. You just killed the law. It's the law of the land. And, you know, that's something that I think is wrong here in America. We've put away the Constitution. We're living by the law of the jungle and no longer living by the law of the land. Let's talk about Black Lives Matter movement. And I know this is something that I should not talk about. No, talk about it, Doug. Good. Because you know what? People need to hear the truth. They need to have their, their safe space fractured by reality. All right. So here's the deal. Black lives matter. White lives matter. Brown lives matter. Yellow lives matter. Purple lives matter. Hell, people! Everybody's life matters. Absolutely. We're all humans, you know? We all belong in one category. We're not different because of our color, race, creed. We're all human beings. If you go off and start killing other humans, that makes you a murderer. No matter what. No matter what they've done, you know? You kill a human, you're a murderer. No matter if they're a cop or if they're black or whatever. hoo You know, we veterans, we swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. I remember that oath today. I do solemnly swear, or affirm, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. It's through our sense of duty that you have the right to protest. It's through our sense of duty that you have the right to demonstrate, to voice your opposition, and petition the government for change. And just like there's good cops and bad cops, I'm sure there's good BLM activists out there. But what I see on the evening news is all bad. I'm seeing very little good when it comes to this. BLM activists out there, they're calling to kill cops. BLM activists are blocking highways. Members are burning my flag. They're rioting. Do you realize that doing these things turns you from an activist for change into a domestic terrorist? Is this what your movement is all about? This isn't about race equality anymore. It's about turning your views and opinions into a race war. It's my opinion that the BLM movement has set relation, race relations back 100 years. BLM, I'm disappointed in you. You know, you could have been a force for change and great good in this country. 
Instead, you turned into a mob with a slogan. Dr. Martin Luther King, Rosa Park, these activists, these brave Americans that demonstrated and voiced for change and good, they must be crying in their graves right now. This brings me to that thin blue line. Now, if you're my age, if you're from my generation, I don't need to tell you what the thin blue line is because we knew it. We knew the cop on patrol. We knew the first aid squad up the street. This is the thin blue line. It used to mean the line between law and order and chaos. It used to represent the barrier between law and lawlessness. But in today's society, it has grown to accomplish more. Today, it means all the first responders we take for granted, the police, the firemen, the EMTs. This is your thin blue line. And it seems to me more and more today that these men and women are under fire, sometimes literally. And these are the men and women that have dedicated themselves to save and preserve life, but instead of respecting them and offering the help, some people are trying to kill them, or at the very least, hinder them in performing their duties. You want to know why police, firemen, and EMTs are slow to respond in some of the neighborhoods? <laughs> or won't go in them without excessive backup? It's because they have to be overcautious today. They know that going into some neighborhoods could cost them their lives. And what do you do instead of helping some of you out there? Instead of cleaning up the crime where you live, you do your damnest to protect criminals living in your area. You actually protect criminals and think that the law and order are bad things. This isn't the America that I grew up with, and sure isn't the America that I swore to protect. Well, that's my opinion. Let me hear yours. Let me hear if you're right or wrong. Let me hear your, your opinions at info at veteransair.us. Or you can even text me right now live in the live here in the studio at 936-344-3083. Please text us live. Do it. Yeah, let me let me make sure my phone is working. If if you text us live, I can I can have a I can have a muffin while Dan handles the call. Absolutely. All right, do we need to go to the space station break here? Mr. Anthony and Dick, my engineer. The wise man of the control board tells me that I need to take a short break. So I'm going to be right back after this break. And I'm going to tell you about the events for August and uh, some veteran-centric um, organizations that I've run across. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. We'll be right back with more news, talk, and commentary from Veterans Air. The Veterans Hour on IRLoneStar.com and Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1. An exciting fishing adventure awaits you aboard the Wicked Winch. Join Corpus Christi's premier fishing guide, 40-year master captain, Alan Ryder, to reel in the big ones. Redfish, trout, drum, flounder, sheep's head, and wade fishing. Full or half-day trips are available. Includes rods, reels, tackle, baits, and refreshments. Seasoned pro or first-time novice. Catch your limits with Padre Pirate Guide Service or go to PadrePirateFishing.com. You are listening to Veterans Air on IRLoneStar.com and Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1. Welcome back to Veterans Air here on your Lone Star Community Radio. Let me tell you about some, uh, some events that are happening here in August. Um, first one is the 9th Annual Operation Backpack, and this is from Honor Bound. And what you can do here is you sponsor and or donate supplies for uh, school backpacks for our military uh, children here in the Conroe area. And uh, you can contact... Uh, Kenny Smith at 936-446-9399 or go on over to Custom Sun on uh, North Fraser. Um, they need your help. They need money. And more importantly, they also need people that can donate some supplies for the backpacks. This is the ninth year. So give Kenny a call and you can find the information on our events page on veteransair.us. Um, I also want to talk about the Dream Builder Foundation. It's the 2016 Special Needs Warrior Dash. And this is happening August 27th at the Oak Ridge Independent High School between 8 and 12. 
This is uh, for children and for, for uh, adults with special needs. And they need coaches and they need people out there to root on these special needs for this Warrior Dash. And you can find more information about this by calling 832-928-2922 and ask for Miss Pickett. She will help you on out. This is a good thing. They're not asking for money. They're just asking for your time. So go do it. Hey, do you like horses? I do. Good. I do too. Dan, are you struggling with anger? I am. Night terrors? Sometimes. Feeling alone? Always. Forgetful? What? Overreacting sometimes? How dare you? Do you need a hug? I do. Well, nothing can give you more love and enjoyment than a horse. Horses can help. There is actually a Horses and Heroes program here in Conroe. It's the Henry's Home for Horses and Human Sanctuary. And this program is for active duty, inactive, and retired military who are suffering from emotional, mental, and behavioral issues ranging from PTSD to depression and addiction resulting from combat stress, reintegration issues, grief, and family trauma. Um, This is the Rising Hope Network of Equine Psychotherapy and Learning for Southeast Texas Equine Therapy Network. Lord, that is a mouthful. Go to the site, veteransair.us, click on events, and you can read about it. Find more information on their webpage at henryshomehorsesanctuary.org. That's about all I have for August. September is going to be a big month, um, so I'll try to get some more stuff out there. Dan, you want to take us to our, our sponsors? I will do that, Doug. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, shout-outs to our show sponsors before I forget any of horse. Uh, Veterans Air is made possible by the support of East Meets West Productions, full-service business and marketing consultants helping vets start and fund their own business for 25 years. For more information, call 361-904-0044. And by the American Legion, Conroe Post Post 411. Post 411 meets the second Tuesday of each month at 7 p.m. in the Military Honors Room at Ryan's Restaurant on Loop 336. Visit AmericanLegionConroe.org for more information. So, Legionnaires, pay attention. Uh, next Tuesday, next Tuesday at 7 p.m., back in the Honors Room at Ryan's Restaurant, I expect to see you there. Dan, are you going to try to show up? Are you uh, working? I probably will be, and I also need to pay my dues. Uh, yeah, you, you, know, you can you can <laughs> give me the cash and and I, I promise I'll turn it back in. Uh, okay, yeah, I trust you. <laughs> well, that about wraps up our show for now. But remember to tune in September sixth at one p.m. to Veterans Air, where our guest is going to be local businessman, veteran, and PTSD sufferer Ken Meyer of Protect Safety. Ken is going to talk about um, how he came from back from the dark side of PTSD and what it takes to become a business owner and have employees in today's economy. Before we go, I have a, I have a special message. This is for my 10th Mountain brother, Sergeant First Class Hawk. If you're out there, brother, pay attention. I'm proud of you, and I'm proud just to have known you. Brother, I'm never going to forget what you taught me so many years ago. Aim with the hand, shoot with the mind, and kill with a heart as cold as ice. Stay strong, brother. We're here for you. We'll leave you with this awesome song by the Warrior Song Project. You can go download it from veteransair.us. It's right there on our front page or over at iTunes. And while we're listening to the song, let us remember our brothers and sisters in uniform that today are standing in harm's way to protect our freedoms and liberty. If you're listening to me and you're wearing the uniform, I say thank you and I'm proud of you. Until next month, stay vigilant and stay safe. This has been Veterans Air. Thanks for checking out this production on Old Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's radio station. For more information on this show and other shows on Lone Star, Check us out online at IRLoneStar.com. 
If you're interested in sponsoring a program on Lone Star Community Radio and reaching the local audience of Montgomery County on FM, Internet, and TV media, please call 936-647-5747 or contact us online at IRLoneStar.com. This recording is a Lone Star Community Radio production produced by the show host and Dick Schistler of Lone Star Community Radio. Interested in volunteering as a music DJ or starting your own talk show? Uh, contact Dick Schistler at dick at irlonestar.com or by phone at 936-647-5747.